Welcome back to Let Us Learn to Lead video series on free open source software designed by M. Srinivasan Training Associate Mathematics, Kendra Vidyalaya Sangathan, Zonal Institute of Education and Training, Mumbai. Self learning contents in video form on GeoGebra, a dynamic mathematics software, is presented at this video series. To view the contents, you may join Google Classroom by using the class code 73AUMB book. In this video, you will learn designing a worksheet to visualize conic section. For preparing this video lecture, I used Windows 10 operating system, a licensed version, GeoGebra 5.0, a free open source software, and a free open source screen recorder software. Let us start. Let me show you what type of worksheet we will be designing. I have designed a worksheet to tell the children that what is a conic section. It is a curve generated by intersecting a right circular cone with a plane it is termed as conic. If I click this animation, you are seeing that the animation starts and in the view of the plane created for H, you see you are seeing that all the conics are coming. First, this is hyperbola. Then after the hyperbola, it automatically changes into an ellipse, a parabola, then ellipse and circle. Therefore, it is going on changing. Depending upon the position of the plane, different conic sections are obtained. The child can visualize it. Now you can rotate this also and then show the children that how a parabola is formed, how a circle is formed, how a uh, ellipse is formed and so on. Now you can reset the animation also. Now this is a one way of explaining to them that how when a plane position is changing, we are getting different conics and what are the names given to the conics. It is automatically it is getting animated. Let us try to design this dynamic worksheet from scratch. Okay. Now I think I am uh, I am not giving you the explanation typing and all. Now what you can do is you can type this also conic section. What is conic section? What is depending on that can be you can type it in the text box. Okay. What you have to do is I have taken GeoGebra Classic 5 worksheet. I have taken the graphic view. You also take the three dimensional view also. Okay. In the three-dimensional view, I will uh, enlarge it. You don't have this plane. Okay, you have only this axis. Okay, in that, you first take the origin zero comma zero comma zero. Okay, the origin is taken. Now you take a point zero comma zero comma four. You have a point on the uh, z axis. You can have it as five six whatever maybe. You take another point zero comma zero comma minus four. That is on the negative side of the z axis. I think I got it. I think okay. This C is you have got. Okay, well. Now we will form a uh, two uh, cones. I think you know that the conic section is uh, by the right circular cone. We need that cone. Go to this uh, pyramid. There you are having the cone. Uh, I think already you know that when you click this 3D graphic, this 3D graphics uh, tools will open. When you click it for graphics will open. You know it. Okay, 3D graphics I am clicking. Go to this cone. What the cone tells? It tells you have to touch the okay. What it tells? Okay. You have to touch the bottom point, top point, and enter the radius. Okay. I will take this as the bottom point, this as the top point, and radius uh, let me have five. Okay, automatically you got it. Similarly, you have another cone of the same radius at the bottom. Now you have fixed that height as uh, four already. Therefore, what you have to do, you have to first touch the bottom point. I am touching the bottom point and I am touching the top point. It asks me the radius. I will just type it as 5. Okay, I think you got it now. The same type, I think you can have 6, 5. It is depending on the way just you are explaining to the children. Is it okay? Okay now. Okay, then what you do is, you go to this uh, uh, three-dimensional graphics. Take this point. Take this point. Take a point on the y axis, take a point on this surface and take another point on this surface. I think I have taken uh, three points. Okay, uh, I think F is uh, okay. If I will do it once again, if I will take it on this. Okay, now I have taken three points, one on the z axis, one on the left side, one on the right side. Now I in the 3D graphics go to this plane, plane through three points. Okay. Take this plane through three points, touch this point D, 
touch this E and touch this F. Oh, you got the plane now. Now what you can do is this plane, um, it is little color is a little bit very uh, light. Therefore, go to it, uh, right click it and go to the object property of this plane. And in the color, you can give you a nice color and then opacity, you can increase the opacity. Is it okay? So it will be easy for the children to uh, see it. Is it okay? Now you see this point D, this point D is going to make, is going to change now. Okay. Now what you do is, go to this uh, intersection of two surfaces, touch this surface and touch the plane. You see? Touch this surface, the which actually the plane inside that and then touch the plane. Okay. Now you got a yeah, cutting now. You are just showing the cutting now. Now how to get it animated it is very simple. In the D, right click it and then start animation. You see, now you are getting the animation now. Let us uh, stop it at this point, let us stop it. We want one more uh, for hyperbola, intersection of two surfaces you take, you touch this plane and touch this. Okay, now you got this. Okay, now you again go for this uh, D and then right click it and then animation. Okay, now you are uh, getting the animation, you are getting uh, hyperbola. Then the hyperbola slowly it will get changed to an uh, ellipse. Then it will change it to a circle and then all. Okay, now you see sometime we will be interested to show you to the children this animation. Therefore, we, I will right click it and then have this animation on. I will uh, stop it. Okay, now I know that D is to be animated. Okay, in that graphics view, uh, let me remove these two. Okay, this point A also I will have uh, show the object. Okay. <clears throat> go to this uh, select button, go to this OK button. There in the caption you type animate. Okay. Then in that script you type S T A R T S capital A N A M A T A O N animation capital D. Okay. Enter. Then press OK. Come out. You see when I click it, animation automatically starts. Then how to stop the animation? Once again, I'll go for this D and I will stop the animation now. Again, go to this OK button. Then you type reset. In that you type S T A R T. The same thing. I think S T A R T A N A M A T A O N animation. It in the bracket F A L S E false. That means that it will stop. Okay. Now you got a reset. Okay. Animate. Animation starts when I click the reset. It is getting stopped. Okay. Now, how to show it to the children? Right click. You will get create 2D view from P. Click it. Okay. The 2D view is coming on the right side. Adjust this uh, windows. This window can be adjusted. I think uh, this can be closed. In the graphics you are having, uh, I think uh, this is a fixed object. Therefore, put in this animated here. This is a fixed object. Then put it over here. Reset. Okay, I think this can be moved like this and this can be moved and show it to the children. Okay, animate. Okay, I am just animating it. You see, uh, whenever I am animating it, the child is able to see in the uh, view of the plane P. First he is seeing the hyperbola, then now parabola, then it becoming a ellipse, then a circle, then parabola, hyperbola, automatically it goes. Now remember it is a highly interesting one that uh, within a single uh, GeoGebra worksheet, you are able to tell them that how when a plane is going on changing its position, when the plane is making that particular angle. Now you see, this can be I mean, totally can be done like this and you can show it to the children very clearly that how a hyperbola is coming. Then when it comes, then you can tell them that how a circle is coming. Highly interesting. For a child can understand that how the uh, four conic section, that is circle, ellipse, parabola and hyperbola are formed whenever the plane is making a particular angle. You can reset it, you can ask them to have the animation and so on and you can just show it to them how it is being done. Thank you. Let us learn to lead.